We all love a story of triumph against the odds where the downtrodden and maligned rise up to claim an unlikely victory. This time, the stage was two giraffes killed in mortal combat. But it was a plucky Rupel's Griffin vulture that attracted Steph's attention. Have a look at this. This lioness has just run in and killed a vulture, or busy trying to kill a vulture. I think that vulture is just lying very meekly there. The brave bird found itself the source of ire, or maybe entertainment, for one of the river pride lionesses. Don't get catch it again. So she didn't even kill it, she just hurt it. Perhaps she felt the need to look after the rest of the kill, or maybe, like a garden variety moggy chasing a ball of string, she felt it was playtime. For some reason, I don't know why, but you just want that vulture to get up and fly away. Displaying cunning in thanatosis, or playing dead, and defiance in hunger, a vulture knows not when or where its next meal will come from. This courageous underbird gives us pause to think about the plight of our world's vultures. They're crucial to Africa's ecosystems, but maligned in culture and persecuted by people. Of the seven species of vulture we've seen at Wild Earth, all are endangered and four critically so. If ever there was an underbird deserving of our support, this is it. Vultures, so misunderstood and maligned, yet so extraordinary and essential. Are you addicted to Africa? Well, click subscribe and you can stay hooked on all the wild moments. If you still can't get enough, click on the little bell and you'll be notified for your daily dose of live safari.